These are some of Drake's most emotive songs. No one it's like 09 in your basement and I'm in love with Nebby. And I still love her. But Today, I'm going to show you the chords behind them, why they work, and then we're going to use what we've learned to make our own melody so we can be a sad boy just like Drake. Now both of these tracks are sampled from old R&B groups. March 14th from Boys to Men and Look What You've Done from the old R&B trio, Player. Let's take a look at the chords in simplified MIDI format. So there's progressions in the key of A flat major or F minor, it's the same thing. I think of all of my progressions in terms of major, just for simplicity's sake, you don't have to keep changing around the numbers in your head. This progression is a two, three, four, Six. So we've got B flat minor 11, over uh, an A flat, and then a C7 sharp 9, sharp 5, D flat major 13 with the 9 in there as well, and then an F minor 11 also with the 9. And that progression was probably quite complex for you if you're not familiar with music theory, extensions and such. So what I've done is I've broken it down into four steps. We start with triads, then sevenths, then we're going to add more extensions, and then finally we're going to work on our voicings. To start here, we've got the bare bones of the same progression. So most of you probably know how to make a triad, but just quickly, if you don't, I'll go over it. So you have our, your root here. Because this is a minor chord, we want to make a minor triad, so we're going to go up three notes. And then we're going to go up four from there to get our fifth. Okay, now that's a B flat minor. Same thing here with C minor. This is a major chord. So you're just going to do the same thing, except when you've got that minor third here, it's just going to go one note up. So instead, from your root, you're going to go up four notes. So one, two, three, four. And then finally, we've got one more minor triad to finish. Okay, now for level two, we've got our basic triads and we want to build on them by adding sevenths to give a bit more color. You can even think about this as building up from the fifth, but I prefer to think of it as building down from the root. So if you have your root here, this is a B flat minor. So for a minor triad, you want to go two notes down. One note down would give you your major seven, but because this is a minor chord and we want a minor seven, we want to go to our minor seven, or it can also be called a flat seven. Raise it up an octave. We can do the same thing here on a C minor seven, and then for our major chord, to get a major seven, we want to go down one note, raise that up an octave, and then here, finally, we want to do the exact same thing for our final chord. One last thing we can do on this level is turn this C minor seven into a dominant chord. To make it more of a passing chord and help with the voice leading at tension, you simply take this minor third here within the chord, raise it up one note, that gives you your major third. Okay, now for level three, we've got our sevenths. So now we just need to build on and add more color to flesh out the chords. So the first chord, the final chord we needed to get to was a B flat minor 11, also with the nine. Easiest way to build this is to take your B flat minor triad. You get the seven here, which we added earlier. And from there, you just build a major triad. So as we went over earlier, up four notes, and then up three notes to get to the seven. Then for the second chord, we wanted to get to a C7 sharp 9, sharp 5. Sounds complicated, but all it is essentially is just an alteration of a dominant chord. We've got our dominant chord here. So first up, if we want to get our sharp 9, we need to find the 9 of the chord. The 9 will always be two notes above your root. Our root is C, two notes above is D. To get a sharp 9, you simply raise that one note. So essentially, we're just adding in the note that we took out earlier. Same concept here we're gonna do with our sharp five. We're just gonna raise the five up one note. Then here on the third chord, we need to add in our nine and 13. We want this chord to be a D flat major nine 13. So again, as just explained, we've got our D flat here and we wanna get our nine, two notes above the root. And to get our 13, all you have to do is go three notes below the root. Raise it up an octave. There we have it, D flat major nine 13. And then for our final chord, it was an F minor 11 with the nine. It's gonna be literally the same voicing as the first chord. So we're just gonna take our F minor seven, go to the seventh, minor seventh that is. Go up four notes to get your major third, and then go up three notes from there to get your fifth. Okay, now on to level four. We've got all the color we need. We've got all the extensions, but it's not sounding clean. So the voicings is just how you arrange these notes within the chord. And then the voice leading refers to the movement between the notes so you can see here. This is nice voice leading. We've got a continuous note all the way through the progression. Also half steps, a nice voice leading. As you can see here, this is the final progression in red. So we just need to move some of these notes around, duplicate some of them in certain areas. This C needs to go down, it's been doubled. 
This A sharp needs to go up an octave, and this G sharp needs to go down, and it's also duplicated up. This actually isn't there in the final progression. On to the next chord, you can see here, we need to move the major third down, and we also need to move the flat seven down. And there we can also see, for nice voice leading, C has been put up an octave again. Next chord, D flat major 9, 13. The major third needs to be moved down, and also the 13. And if this last one, just need to drop it down an octave. There we go, we've got the voicing. Let's use both of these chords as a foundation to build our own progression from the ground up. I've gone for a bit more of a complex progression, but really it's still pretty simple at its core and similar to the other one. Started uh, as Look What You've Done on the two here. Yeah. And we're literally in the same key, so this is the same chord. It's voiced a little bit differently and Look What You've Done. And then we're going to our three here, a dominant chord, you can tell because we've got our root C, which is the third tone of the scale. We've got our major third and the flat seven. And then for the alteration in this case, I've gone for a flat nine. And then we've gone to a uh, F minor 11. Actually, this is just an F minor seven. And then what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to walk up here. So I've gone seven, one, and then flat two in this chord. Even the bass note isn't in the scale at all. So I've called it flat two to go back round and walk chromatically up to the two. This is a good start, but to get to the emotional level of these original samples, we need melody and movement within the chords. In both of our references, the melody is made up mainly of half steps, whole steps, chord tones, and occasional broken chords for more rhythm. So I played around on the keys and came up with this. This might look complex, but really it is quite simple when you actually break it down. Uh, it's just really notes from the chords here. It's the notes I showed you earlier, but I've uh, added grace notes in in a lot of places as well. Use those to just sort of jazz it up. Uh, here you can see I've played a broken chord, and then the rest of it is really just walking down the notes of the scale, either up or down, because that will give you the effect of telling a story. Now that we have our progression, let's build on this idea to turn it into a full sample with a modern touch. The media section feels like it's going somewhere, but it's also quite melodic and doesn't have that much room for the artist. So I'm going to use one of my favourite pads from Upcoming Kit and some phrases from Cavi's Elements of Soul Kit to make a stripped back section in that OVO style. If you like these accents, you can get that kit in the description. And if you use my code MESSIO20, you get 20% off. Now to finish off, we just need some variations. What I've done is I've added a road section and a pitched up piano section, but with some variation within the MIDI on both. Before I play the finished sample, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. And if you've got any questions, comment, and I'll try and clear things up for you.
Rosie's production for Drake, check out this video here.